What's crazy, this little guy that's flying around is a black soldier fly. There's already black soldier flies in here. So I need to go ahead and bring the rest of the bins in here, bring in the worms and uh, set up a water system because these guys are definitely gonna need water. It is really warm in here. It's supposed to be 88 outside today, but I can tell from just being right here, this is definitely like upper 90s because I can already feel the sweat, sweat starting to build up on my face. All right, so I'm gonna go grab the rest of the bin and start bringing them down here. All right, so I'm now standing in the greenhouse after a few weeks of having it set up. Uh, I have my black soldier fly set up. And over here on my right, these are all the worm bins that I have set up. It's been getting really hot uh, now that we're into August. So I ended up putting some shade cloth that I had. I believe uh, it's 40% and I actually had two of them. So I put both of them on top. And then in front of the door, I had some 80% um, shade cloths that I think I got from like one of the big box stores. So I just used that draped over the front to block out a lot of sunlight because it was getting really hot in here. I did come in and check the soil uh, <clears throat> on one of these bins and it was very warm to the touch and I could see the worms all the way at the bottom when I dug through it and they were just trying to find the coolest possible spot in the bin. So. That's why I added this shade covering to this little greenhouse. And it's working out fairly well as the worms do seem to be thriving in here. I thought the black soldier flies would be pretty happy because they like it really warm and they like it humid. And with uh, me spraying in here, I keep it pretty humid. And of course it's warm in here. So the black soldier flies have really started taking off in here, which is great because they're processing quite a bit. Now the worms, I wasn't 100% sure on how this was going to work out because I know they like warmer temperatures, but they don't like it hot. But with keeping them covered and the shade cloth over this, I think I found a really good balancing point. A few of the bins are actually doing really well where I can tell the populations are just booming. So I'm going to go ahead and show you those now. So this is my furthest over bin and uh, so I guess this is technically the most north bin I have. And uh, I'm gonna lift this up and hopefully you'll be able to see all the worms. Uh, this morning when I came and checked on them and gave them a little bit of a feeding, there was just hundreds of worms on the top. As I'm digging through, you can see there's worms all the way at the top and they seem really happy in here. I can't believe how fast they're processing this. This was pretty uh, woody material in here. So I did grow a giant pumpkin this year and there was a couple other pumpkins on it as well. And they did do well, but one of the mid-sized pumpkins uh, out of nowhere, I think it just kind of got attacked by something and the bottom started to rot. So I picked it up and I brought it in here and I've fed it throughout a lot of these worm bins. And within four to five days, uh, most of the pumpkins been gone. It's really impressive how much they've eaten and left behind. I gave them a very large chunk of pumpkin and uh, they've turned it into like lovely worm castings. With how fast uh, things are being processed in these now, I don't think it's gonna take me like nine months to harvest uh, one of these bins anymore. As this starts to take off, I do plan on harvesting these, these little uh, larvae so overall, I'm really happy with this. Uh, I think it was a great idea to set up a little greenhouse and use that as a, a, a housing for these black soldier fly larvae and my worms. This is just so much easier going with a larger setup. It's a lot easier to take care of because you, I have so much more room to where I can walk in here. I'm excited to see how this works out over winter to see if I can still process a lot of food during winter. And I'll see you next time. Bye.